Princess Diana's former butler Paul Burrell has slammed the crown's portrayal of the late royal's final moments. Paul Burrell ripped into the Netflix show as they recreated the fatal car crash in Paris that killed Princess Diana and Dodie Fayed. The harrowing scenes are played out at the end of episode 3 of the sixth and final season of the royal drama which aired on the streaming service today. Paul, 65. has now furiously slammed the Crown's decision to cover Diana's death saying it will sadly open up old wounds for Prince William, 41, and Prince Harry, 39. It's too close to our memories and it's too close to people's hearts, to William, to Harry, to all the people that knew her and loved her, he told the mirror. It seems macabre to show the vehicle in which she died. I find the whole scene of Diana's death portrayed in a fictional TV show to be grotesque. According to the publication, the series rehashed a claim Diana was pregnant at the time of her death, a rumor that was later disproved by a pathologist at Diana's inquest. Paul added, Please don't say that Diana was having a baby when she died because she wasn't. That is not true. Diana's former butler urged the show creators to recreate the late princess crash scenes with elegance and style adding they should avoid any gory details. We know what happened. It wrecked all our lives. We don't want to see it again, Paul assured. The Netflix show recreated the fatal car crash in Paris that killed the couple in 1997 right up until the point where their car entered the Pont de l'Alma tunnel. They have always insisted viewers will not witness the crash. Paul served as a footman for the late Queen before working for Diana as a butler for 10 years until her death in Paris in 1997. He was once described by Diana as, the only man she ever trusted, and said he feels a duty to watch the sixth season of the Netflix show about the royal family to see how her memory is preserved.